Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Today we are continuing with our series on the things to do in Munich and beyond and we have an exciting destination to explore, Schloss Niffenburg. Schloss Niffenburg is an expansive palace complex covering approximately 200 hectares, about 490 acres of land. The main palace building itself is quite large with numerous wings and courtyards, while the surrounding grounds feature sprawling gardens, serene lakes and charming pathways. The palace's vast size allows visitors to explore its various rooms, gardens and outdoor spaces, offering a truly immersive experience. Let's start with a little bit of history. The Schloss Niffenburg or the Niffenburg Palace was built in the 17th century as a summer residence for the Bavarian monarchs. It's a stunning example of the Baroque architecture and holds significant cultural and historical importance for the region. The palace was originally much smaller but was expanded over the course of the years to become the grand complex it is today. As you explore the palace's opulent interiors, you will encounter a variety of art styles including Baroque, Rococo and Neoclassical elements. One notable work of art is the beautiful ceiling frescoes depicting mythological scenes, figures and historical events adding to the palace grandeur. In addition to that, the palace also features bedrooms and other rooms used by royal families, providing a fascinating glimpse into the private lives. In addition, it is the perfect spot for a leisure picnic, a refreshing jog, or simply relaxing on one of the benches while soaking in the beauty of the surroundings. To cap off your adventure, take a gondola ride on the Syrian Lake. It offers a view to die for, especially during sunset, with the palace reflected in the shimmering waters, creating a picture-perfect moment that you will cherish forever. Depending on your pace, exploring the palace can take a couple of hours. After you are done with exploring the palace crowns and its interiors, don't forget to visit the souvenir shop at the reception area to take home a piece of Niffenberg with you. I hope you enjoyed our tour of Schloss Niffenburg. If you did, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content not only about Munich but also beyond. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for part 6 of our series on things to do and visit in Munich and beyond. If you haven't watched the other parts of this series, I will link the playlist at the end of this video, so do check it out. If you are one of my Airbnb guests, 
or someone who is new to Munich and wants to know how to reach the palace using public transportation, I have listed the various forms of transportation you can use in the description below. Until next time, take care, stay safe and happy exploring. Bye!